Hi, how you doing? My name's Jimmy, and in this video, I'm going to make a very simple water level indicator to fit into the fresh water tank on my camper van. And as it doesn't need to be connected to the vehicle electrics, there'll be no wiring, no hiding wires behind walls, no messing on with fuses, and you won't need to cut any more holes in your water tank. So stick around to find out how I do it. Hiya, welcome to my channel. Jimmy here, the Geordie lad from Whitley Bear. If you're new to my channel, think about subscribing. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll be notified of any new videos, just like these. I'm gonna blow away some cobwebs. This is day one of our holiday to Cornwall. Westwood Cove, Westwood Cove, Cove, Ho, Westwood Ho, Pen Dog Get. It's pretty quiet here today, probably because it's tipping it down with rain. Well, it's nearly dark. <laughs> it's Great North Run Day. Very early start, I think we got up at five o'clock this morning. I won't do the naughty bits on camera. What do you think of those? Lovely. Although the van isn't finished, we did start to use it in the summer. We had a three week trip to Cornwall and we've been away for weekends. And one of the things I wish I'd done from the start was to make an accurate way of checking how much water you had. Apart from not knowing how much water you've got, my system's not bad, it's working quite well. So I don't want to change too much, I just want to be able to tell an accurate way of how much water is in the tank. The system I currently have is a 70 litre Fiorma tank which is located underneath my sink. The filler pipe goes into the top through a cutoff. The next one down, this one here, is an overflow and a breather pipe, which is clipped as high up as I can to stop any spillages if you go around the corner. The bottom outlet is through a tap and into a T-piece. The first piece goes through an inline pump which goes to your tap. The second piece is um, shut off most of the time but in the case of you needed to drain the system this can be unclipped and put at a lower level and a hose connected which will be enabled to drain the system. I like the Fiorma tank because it has a big access hole in the side for cleaning and maintenance. My simple plan for this water level indicator is just to put a T-piece into here and a T-piece into here and run a clear larger tube between the two with a brightly coloured bead which will float and show the level of the water. Now I can hear you all shouting at your screen saying that won't work and you're correct that won't work. I'll try and explain why okay here we go if you can imagine the new pipe which is going to go between this pipe and this pipe this pipe being the breather for the tank and this pipe being the feed which another word for it could be 
a suction pipe because as the pump pumps the water out it sucks the water out the tank now the suction required to draw the water out of the tank into there is greater than the suction needed to draw the water out of this pipe so what will happen when you turn the pump on the water will suck the pump will suck all of the water out of the pipe and when the pipe is empty it will draw air through instead of water because air is less dense than water so what you'll find is you'll be sucking air through the tap which firstly is no good for your water supply and secondly could damage the pump so we need some way to stop that well I hope that made some sort of sense to you um, it, might, it might become clearer as we do the job which I think is what we should do next for two reasons one is my explanation skills aren't very good it's easier to show you than to try and explain and two is I haven't completely worked out what I'm going to do yet so we'll um, we'll work it out as we go so we start putting the pipes in so the first thing to do before we start is to drain the tank so that's what I'll do now so all we need to do now to drain the tank is to unclip this pipe in here clip this hose in here just an extension hose run this outside and open the valve and as you can see the water drains out so we just let that drain for now and then we'll crack on and um, fit the new pipe well welcome to my laboratory I've been given this problem some thought over the last 24 hours and what I've come up with is we need this is the clear pipe that we're going to use for the bead to float inside and we need to stop the water being sucked out of this pipe too quickly we can't block it because then the gauge the bead would not move I thought of a one-way valve in the top to let air and water out but not back in but then as you use the water in the tank the bead would not go down so it would give you an inaccurate reading so you'd think you were, had a full tank and you only have half a tank so anyway what I've come up with we need to have a resistance in this pipe so let some water through but not very quickly so I went to my uh, local um, car accessory shop and um, he came up with it, that idea now I've just been experimenting which is why I've called it my lab because we need to um, determine how quickly the water can go through now the smallest drill I have is is that size I don't know if you can see it's tiny it's uh, less than an eighth drill and that is the size of the hole that it puts in and it's too big the water goes through far too quickly so I've had to experiment putting different size holes in and um, I've got a very very small hole in now and it seems to work okay so I'm going to go with that so this little plastic uh, I don't know what you would call it cap um, is almost the right size for the end of here now I don't want to take that one's already got one in but it was such a tight fit I don't want to take it out again because I don't want it to leak but the theory is I'm going to do this again on the other end but that I don't know if you can see that is a very tight fit into there can't see because my fingers are in the way that fits into there and it's a very tight fit but what 
helps you to get that in. If you put this into really hot water, the rubber becomes softer and it's easier to put on, which is what I did with the clear pipe as well, how we got it over the end. So that's why it's a very tight fit, don't even need a clamp on. So um, that's one end done. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know how long this needs to be yet, so I'm gonna measure it, cut it off, put another piece of blue pipe with another one of these in the top, cut it to size first, put it in the top, then connect the two T pieces in, and um, that's pretty boring stuff, so I won't film that, but I'll show you what happens once it's done. Oh no, we've got a major design problem. The beads, the beads that I bought for the, uh, to float in the tube, they don't float, <laughs> they've all sunk. <laughs> so um, I need to go out and get some more beads. Well, 24 hours have passed, and I've been looking for some beads, some floatable beads that, to replace the ones that, uh, that I got that wouldn't float without any luck. So um, it will still work without the beads. Um, it just won't be the way I originally planned it. But the main thing I'm concerned about is that it doesn't suck the water out of the clear pipe straight away. That's the main thing. Um, so the pipe is on now. Um, I'll give you a quick look and then we'll um, fill it up with some water and see if it works. Well, as you can see, the pipe is on now. It, um, it needs some um, double-sided tape or something to keep it flat against the, uh, the tank. And I thought I had some, but I can't find it. I know I've got some at home, so I'll do that at a later date. But again, that won't stop it from working. So we'll put some water in and see if it works. Right, I'm just going to about to fill it up. I'm going to fill it up with the funnel to there rather than the hose because I want to mark off um, level marks on the tank. So I'm going to put 20 litres in, make a mark. Put another 20 litres in, make a mark. Another 20 litres in, make a mark. So I not only know, I not only be able to see where the water is, I'll have a rough idea how much that water is. I'm only going to put 20 litres in first, um, just to see if it leaks first. And um, I'll put the rest in at a later date. So we'll get on doing that now. So I just, um, the way I've done it is this pipe here, and I'll just clip this into there. And put this into there, and we'll fill the water up. And this is just the last little bit now. After this, um, that's the twenty liters in. Okay, 20 litres in there now, and um, that should be um, just over a third of the tank. So we'll, um, we'll have a look. Okay, let's have a look. Well, firstly, um, there's a very good sign, there's no leaks. As, uh, that's... Um, a bit damp on the floor but that was from before and if you look at the, right there's the level and that's pretty much a third of a tank so I'm quite pleased with that now with a bit I'm most interested in I'm uh, I want to see um, how much water has sucked out of this pipe when you operate the tap. There's the water level. Turn the tap on. 
Wow, that's quite good. It is going down slightly, but um, that's not bad at all. Let me turn it off. It won't come back to its uh, original level immediately um, because the restriction stopping the water going out the pipe also restricts it coming in the pipe but it will eventually after a few seconds go back to its uh, level and um, yeah I'm quite pleased with that well I would say that was a result I'm happy with that if you think that um, putting the restrictors in the, the little blue pipes in here and in here is a bit of a faff um, there is an alternative um, if you um, drill two holes in your tank and put if you drill a hole on the two flat parts of your tank see here um, well here and here see and put two elbow elbow um, pieces in you could then put the um, the blue pipes into the elbow pipes with the clear pipe over the top like I've done there and because it's in the tank not the not the feed line you wouldn't have to put the restrictors in the only reason we need the restrictors in because it's in the feed line where, where the pump is drawing the water out in the tank you wouldn't need to but I would rather put the, re the restrictors in than drill holes in a 70 pound water tank but you pay your money and you take your choice it's up to you but you can do that but I'm quite happy with well, that well we'll end the video there I hope you got something out of that I hope you enjoyed it um, leave me a comment let me know let me know what you think let me know if you, if you liked it if you didn't like it um, if you did like it don't forget to subscribe you'll do me a big favor because I'm new to YouTube and I need all the help I can get so till next time take care thanks for watching